Anya Hart here. Thank you for joining us on Hollywood Live. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hollywood Live. So glad you're joining us today. Well, you know my guest from the Moesha show from way back in the day. And these days, she's still got it going on and it's a little bit spooky, but Char Jackson is joining me. Hey, Char, how are well, I'm you? Not gonna, I'm not going to let you say way back in the day. Stop it. It's on Netflix. You're <laughs> fine right now. <laughs> that is true. That is true. It's not that far back in the day because you can get Moesha anywhere in the world. Today. You're acting like it's a new show on right now. That's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, girl. You know what? Go get that. You know, right? <laughs> go get them residuals too. So all there that. you go. Uh, all that. All yeah. that. People go, well, that's another conversation. But right. that's <laughs> How are you? I'm fabulous, doll. How are you? Uh, great. And you look fabulous too. You. And you've got a new show just in time for this time of the year when we're all doing Halloween spooky kind of stuff. Oh, good. Uh, it's called Celebrity Exorcist. I, I was like, Exorcism. <laughs> Exorcism. Exorcism. exorcism yeah 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 and, and and i know when you hear um celebrity exorcism you're like i knew that shark had demons no it's not that i don't it, you're not we're not exercising an actual celebrity that's not how it's working it's, <laughs> <laughs> we we go to locations um that are historically haunted in, in here in la and um we are with an actual exorcist now i thought like to have that job you had to have a collar but apparently that's not the case um, this woman takes us to these places and she exercises the entity from those uh, those locations. Okay, and you've got some co-hosts with you, uh, folks that we also love, Jody Sweeten. I love her. Yeah, I don't do, I always love Jody. Always. Jody is awesome. She's literally one of my new BFFs. We exchanged bracelets yesterday. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, I understand that. And Meta World Peace, who was yeah. former NBA player for the Lakers, who I actually spent some time with him um, a couple of years ago, just before the pandemic, and it would be honoring him. They, he was being honored by uh, Charles Drew University. Oh, nice. And, that is a um, sweetheart. Oh, isn't he? Oh, my gosh. I adore him. He is so sweet. Just the nicest guy. Yeah, but he a big really scaredy cat, I'm going to be honest. Well, that's what I, so I kind of saw the first show and I was yeah, like, okay, yeah. yeah, don't ever overestimate a, a big person and yeah. think that you're going to rely on them if you're scared of something, because they're yeah. going to be running faster than you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, no judgment, you know, but um, I definitely, he had to hold his hand. Jody and I definitely had to uh, motivate and um, be team captains for Meta, because there were times where we just knew Meta was not going to show up. <laughs> And he did he or didn't he? He did or didn't we'll have to watch to find out. So tell me about this show though. Okay, entity. So you've got this woman who does exercising or ex exercise mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. and she takes you to these haunted locations. Which, by the way, there are a lot of those in LA. People. Oh, there's no so many. There's oh, there's so, so many. many. It's insane. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize it was so many. But there, there. Uh, but yeah, like there was one that I told the people, I was like, listen, the show will end if you guys t try to take me to this one particular spot. And I said, you know, and I'm not a girl who goes like against her contracts and things of that nature, but the show will end if we go to this one particular place. So thank God we did not. And they took me to the second most haunted place. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens when you get to the haunted place, whatever it is, what is an entity and how, because I looked at the show and I was like, oh, I, I'm scared. I, so tell me how you felt about so, it. So, so, um, okay. So this is the thing. So we had to kind of go through a spiritual boot camp, and and so that we could learn the difference between spirit and entity because there's a huge difference. So spirit is just a deceased person. Um, nine times out of ten, not really there to do any harm. You know, they're just kind of living their afterlife. Um, and then there's entity, which most people consider like demons or the devil. Now, those are the ones you don't really want to mess with, but those are the ones that uh, our, our, our co-host, Rachel, decided she needed to go and exercise. Okay. And what do you, what are you all doing while she's exercising run. these? We, we run. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know about you, but I, I don't like, want to be smart. Running. I'm going to run. 
Um, right. But but no, we she needed some assistance. This was a really big place, so we just kind of kind of helped support and checked out some some areas to find the spirits that were also in this location because some were a little trapped and um, we needed to keep them safe while she dealt with you know the big guy, the the bigger the bigger picture yeah. here. Yeah. You know, it's very interesting, Char, because after Jordan Peele's Get Out and a couple of other things, Black people seem to be really into the horror genre. Oh, I've always been a horror head. Like, that, I've, I was the kid watching, you know, Chainsaw Massacre, like, four. Like, it, it, I love, <laughs> <laughs> I love the horror genre, and, 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 I, and I respect the spirit realm. Um, I was just one of those people who didn't believe that, like, we really needed to mess with them. Like, let them stay over there, do that we'll stay over here and do, do, do us. I didn't realize that there was some peace in that, um, that whole kind of communicating thing. Uh, but I found that out as well. So. so you actually communicate with these spirits, the good ones and the bad ones, or just the good ones? No, 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 no. Uh, mama, mama don't got time to, to talk to the bad ones. But, but I did find some beautiful um, connections with, with okay. some positive people. So, Are these people that you once knew? Or who are these folks? One of them, absolutely, yes. Okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah. And this, by the way, all airs on Tubi. Yes, on Tubi. It's on right now. It's it's supposed to be completely scary, but I'm a fool, so it's kind of funny, um, but <laughs> still terrifying. So you know, I would say definitely check it out because it's awesome. Okay, and you know, you've been busy over the past few years. You know, even though thank God Moesha's still on the air and running and and all of that, but you're a mom of four, which yeah. in itself is like a huge job. That's a gigantic uh, the job, kids, yes. the, the kids have gotten older now. What are they up to? They are living life. A couple of them are in school getting engineer degrees. Um, one is getting her uh, her artist, I don't know what degree that is when you're an artist, but okay. She's master, doing that. master of Fine Arts. Yes, yes, yeah, Master of Fine Arts. Yes, I'll, I'll keep that in my head for now. Um, and then, uh, and then my baby, he's in high school and just started his first job. So that makes me really nauseous. <clears throat> <laughs> Why is that? He's making his own money. Hey, that's well, a good because thing. Because he's like, he has a job. That means he's like almost grown. And that means my duties are pretty much almost done. Trust so I, me, now when they people never call me and ask me to go out, I can't use my kids as an excuse. So. But you know what? The, it never really ends. They'll always be back with mama. Don't worry about it. They come, oh, yeah. they come back. <laughs> oh, that I've learned too. Yeah. Yeah, they, they always <laughs> come back. Any other projects uh, coming up really soon? Uh, there's a bunch of stuff, you know, um, in the works right now. I'm super excited. I can't talk about them yet, but just know that your girl's back. Yeah, that's what I really love about this. I mean, Char, you really, you were one of one of our pioneers in many, in many ways, you know, on television. No, you really were that. Well, the Moesha show was kind of pioneering. I didn't realize came. how, you know, impactful that show was until, you know, later. And, and I'm so proud to have been a part of it. Yeah, really. And I'm so glad that it's still on the air and that you're doing well and you look terrific girl, whatever you're doing, you. keep doing it. I drink so, water, a lot of water. I do too. Mm -hmm. That's what somebody asked me this week about my skin. I'm like, well, I drink about three quarters of a gallon of water almost every yeah. day. Hydrate. Yeah, hydrate. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? <laughs> so good to see you again. And Thanks good luck with you, good, good luck with the show. What do you want to leave people with about the uh, the new show? What do you Just, want to tell you them? You know, it's it's Halloween time. Go and get your fright on. <laughs> I got to tell you something. I had to, I, I, I won't say anything else, but like I, it, it was frightening a little bit for me. So, so if you and like to get be. your fright on, but you're going to laugh too. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for having me. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. It's so good to see you again. And for everybody out there, thank you for joining us. You don't want to miss any of the Hollywood lives because you know what? We got stuff going on. And yes, it's a little bit ghostly here in Spooky Today. Enjoy. <laughs>